So, to formally end our discussion, may I know what is your idea regarding the call to see is to believe? Anyone? Yes, yes. For me, this quote emphasizes the philosophy of ideas of seeing reality. That's a great answer. You may not think you're seeing. Anyone else? I would also like to add that this quote also shows how a person feels towards you. si Mark. Badminton player simula grade 8. Hindi ko inakakalang sesuryosoyin ko yung badminton. Sa tagal ko nag-training, pangarap kong pumasok sa NCAA. Gusto ko maramdaman yung feeling na big school yung paglalaban mo. Pero syempre di ako matapang. Kaya training muna ako sa iba. Sakit na mo si Lindo. Nino, gag yung galing na pumalo. Oo nga, nakita ko din yung Nate, coach. Coach, tinatangan. Uy, game na lang na naman. Ito lang. Sige nyo mga itsura nyo, oh. 
Okay, thank you guys. 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 Thank you Mark, where are you? I'm here in the YMCA. Come on, come on. Wait, come on. Okay. Let's check up. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Yes, coach. Mark, okay, I see you. Let's go. Put some stones in the loot. Okay, okay, pa. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay na ko pa. Sige, tapos na rin ako magluto. Uy. Kasal na tayo. Sin. Okay pa. Thank you. Nga po pala tay, gagawa po kami project mamaya. Baka gabi po ako makauwi. Ah, sige, papayarin kita. As long as hindi physical yung gagawin mo, tsaka di badminton. Mas importante pa yung kalusugan mo kaysa sa badminton. Alam ko naman yung tay. Sige, kain ka na. Ito ay namin na. Ayos na, kain ka na. Tungkol saan nga ba yung project niyo, Anna? Eh... Gagawa po kami ng crapsule para sa field demo. Bawal po kasi ako sa physical activities, di ba? Saan kayo gagawa? Kila Nilo po. Nalala niyo po si Nilo. Oh. Kailan niyo gaganapin yung field demo? Sa November 27 po. Sino-sino mga kasama mo? Mo? Mga klase ko po. Mga klase ko po. Okay na po pa. Sa po. Sige, ako muna lang dyan yung plato mo. Ako na mag-ugas. Sige, ingat. Guys, one week na lang, tournament na natin. Ito na yung huling training nyo. Okay? Kung gusto nyo maging individual training, pwede. Okay? So, ang advice ko sa inyo, kailangan na kayo until the training up. God bless guys, kita. One, two, three, Taraflex! Hello, Anna. Ano sa aking project yan? Ito na pa, papunta na po. Gabi na, oh. Di ba pinag-usapan natin sa talika lang? Oh, shit. Kuya! Anak, ano yung narinig ko sa paligid mo? Anak! Hello! Anak, sumukot ka naman, oh. Hello! Hello! Dok? Dok, gising na po si Mark! You may leave now. Ako muna bahala din. Sige po. Hi, Mark. May naaalala ka ba? Naalala ko lang, Dok. Pawi na po ko nun eh. Tapos kausap ko pa si Papa sa phone. Tapos... Nari, Dok! Kumalma ka. Kailangan mo magtalingan. Yung pa ako, Dok! Hindi ko magalaw! Shoot! Dok! Kumalma ka. Na-accidente ka. Your legs are completely paralyzed. Your hands are weak and severely shaking due to the shock of the accident. You will undergo surgery. Paano to, Dok? Iiwan ko muna kayo rito ng papa mo at mag-usap kayo habang tinatawag ko yung anesthetics team. I'm sorry. So, ano na? Ano ba ang kwenta? Mark. Ito na lang ba ako, Mark? Ano ba kala? Kailangan lang natin ang oras para gumalik ka. So, okay po na tayo sa radyo. Baka hindi ko yung tugtog na gusto mo. Angit yan. Ayoko ko yan. Ayoko yan alam. O radyo. Nagbabalita ngayon pa ako babayan. May mga reports mula sa iba't ibang ospital ng Manila na nagsasabing may gumagawa daw ng illegal euthanasia. Tama nga. Hot topic na ito sa social media. Back once a book of Venus, ang hashtag illegal information. Ang mga police naman ay nag-iimbestiga na iba't ibang hospital upang mapatigil ang illegal information. Malaysia? Where's the key report? Pag-uisipin yan. 
Hi Mark, I'm your surgeon and ready to room for the surgery and Mr. David, I'm afraid that you have to wait outside Go. Go. Yes Mark. Ano na yung badminton kayo ito? Ano na yung lifestyle kung gaya yung pa? Sadi, completely paralyzed na yung legs mo and limited na lang yung movements mo but there are other opportunities naman. Paano dok ko? Hindi yung siya. Ginagin ko po kanina sa radio yun eh. May na gumagawa ng magdo po sa iba nun. Iho, euthanasia is mercy taking. Yung mga ganyang bagay, dapat kinoconsider yun. Pero nasa yung decision. But I think marami pa ng mga opportunities na mangyayari, lalo na ilang taon ka pa lang naman. Gusto ko na po mamatay, kaysa po hindi ko magawa yung pagbabaan ng ito. Ganda na lang, Mark. Laban tayo. Magsisurgery tayo and malalaman natin kung anong kailangan natin gawin. Okay, Mark? Ano ang gagawin ko? Mr. David, uh, yung surgery ko, it's successful and done. You may receive more now. Uh, iwan ako po muna kayo. Thank you, Baba. Anak? Excuse me po. Yes, Mr. David, okay na po ba lumabas ka sa inyo? May mga treatments lang po kami for Mark to support his body at the current moment. Sige po. Hi Mr. David, um, update lang po kita sa current situation po ng anak niyo and yung katawan niyo po is currently wala pang respond so... Actually, no. Yes po? I've decided na po regarding euthanasia. Euthanasia po? Sure po kayo? What if I didn't lose hope in my deepest, darkest moments? What if I fought harder, endured longer? What if, just what if, I did not give up? As time passes by, I will develop into a passionate writer. An author who writes poems and stories about love and hope. My words will turn into an unforgettable experience for my readers to relate and feel to. If there is a chance, I can be a soulful artist. Drawings that show colorful emotions and paint a beautiful story for everyone to see. All of my drawings will be everywhere in the social media. People will love it. My work will leave a lasting impression for generations to come. If not an artist, perhaps an architect who designs building and be known as one of the best designers of the country. I will be the one who will design the future's safety and comfort. I can be a musician, composing music and performing with all my heart, ranging from delightful tunes to sorrowful ballads. I will capture everyone's heart and have them sing along. I can be an inspiration to the young ones, telling them my own story. A storytelling, the tale of the man who lost everything. 
and yet he fought with everything he had. Even when no doors were open, he found a window and saw a bright and fulfilling future.